Yes, sir, sure did, Lance. You know, I've come out here a lot of weeks, and I've never bothered anybody. I've never asked anything. I've never hassled anybody. Too, but you got a guy over there, Eddie Gilbert, who's fast, and he's and he's uh, the boy's smart. Let's face it. Now, Lawler, what this all boils down to is all these men that you've seen, and probably a lot of more, and what you said at the top, man, it's probably very lonely up there, isn't it? But now, they're wanting to watch you as you fall, brother. And see, that's where I come in, because I'm in the position now to where I'm going to be the man to put you at the bottom. Because Jerry Lawler, look what you've done to me! And I will have the last laugh. <laughs> I'm going to take a note. You know what that is? Look out! Russell, and this is the first time I've ever called you by the first name Lance, you know fully well in your heart that these are not just accusations, that these are stone cold facts. I'm gonna get you good. I hate your filthy, stinking guts, your scum! Well, I'm gonna be the last man you ever slap, Jack. Go for it. Come on! We've got half the job done. We want the other half. We want the belts back. Now, let me tell you something, Jimmy Kent. You're the one that took it to the gutter. You wanted to get down in the gutter and get fighting. Well, that's exactly what you did, brother. Here comes Dundee. Red Dover. He makes the tag on Dundee. The little Aussie comes firing in there. Covered with his own blood. He's not stopped. We're going to have a special, no time limit, no disqualification match for the AWA Southern Heavyweight title when the former world's champion, Terry Funk, brought in by Jimmy Hart, will be going against Jerry the King Lawler. Woo! Lexington, I give you the living legend, Terry Funk. You know, I'd like to say one thing right now. I understand that some of you people in Lexington, a few of you don't like professional wrestling. Well, there's several people that I don't like in professional wrestling either. And I don't claim to be Cassius Clay, or I don't claim to be Sugar Ray Leonard, or I don't claim to be Stonehands. I claim to be a whole hell of a lot tougher than what they are. And Jerry Lawler, I'm going to take this fist right here and I'm going to ram it right down his throat and I can wrestle too if the man wants to wrestle and so can my brother who's going to be going up against the world's heavyweight champion so you're gonna have both funks on that card you're gonna have both funks trying to do what others have tried to do and we are going to do it because believe me Lawler I'm gonna take his fist and I'm gonna raise it above your head and I'm gonna pound pound on you and I'm gonna pound on you and I'm gonna pound on you till your brains turn to marshmallows and your eyeballs turn to je to jello and anybody else in that arena I don't care who you are that wants to try me come on first a former NWA world heavyweight champion additionally he was Frankie the Bumper in Paradise Alley and is now pursuing a career
caught in the restraining rope around the ring, being chased by Jerry the King Lawler. Funk's hands heavily taped in there. Looks like almost he has Cass on him. Ties it up with the King. Referee Jerry Calhoun. Whose extremely successful former world champion brother Dory Funk. Woo! And there goes Lawler through the rope and on the ring apron. And Funk kicks him out right here on the timer's table. Look out! Funk really nailed him with an elbow. Again. Picks him up. Atomic drop on a concrete floor. And the roughhouse tactics of Dory Funk. Do some early damage to the king. Funk, with those taped fists, nailing Lawler. Woo, he stung him. Put him flat on his back. Boy, is Funk come ready for bear. Drops a big leg on him.
both bleeding profusely. Waller oh, takes another shot right on the cut. to pain as he pounds on Lawler. Lawler. Close to being out on his feet. Can't feel anymore. Pain himself. Falk hammers him. Lawler looks at him.
thing like a big axe. Referees at the eight count. Nine. It's going to be a count out. Not a disqualification, but a count out. Fourteen minutes. Some other great action on an all-star card. One of them is going to be that AWA Southern heavyweight title match when Jerry the King Lawler faces Terry Funk. By golly, I'll tell you what, here's a guy that knows Terry Funk and you know just how wild he is. Well, I think the people have probably seen how wild he is by now. And one thing, Lance, that you failed to mention on this is that it's going to be a no time limit and no disqualification. Just like the last match we had and uh, there were chairs, every, I mean, just everything that could you could imagine was involved in that match. You know, I used to have a lot of respect for Terry Funk, but now I think you're a low-life scum of the earth, just like Jimmy Hart, the man that brought you in here, Funk. And the next time I get you in the ring, I'm going to make an example out of you. I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life. I'm going to do the same thing with Hart if he gets close to the ring. Of course, the title is on the line this time, and I uh, got to tell you that Terry Funk uh, has some opinions of you that you may not care for. I'd like for you to listen to a couple of words that Terry had to say. Acting like a fool and an idiot with a crown on his head whenever I believe in stepping into the ring with nothing but a pair of tights on, going in and competing at a dead level best. But a guy like Lawler, he likes to use illegal tactics like his fist. Well, let me tell you something. As I can use my fist, I'm not Cassius Clay, I'm not Sugar Ray Leonard, but I... <laughs> sure know how to knock a man out and I would love nothing better to take Lawler and take this fist and drive it right down his sick putrid throat. Uh, well obviously uh, those are his feelings. Well that's just fine. He, I think the same thing only worse about you Funk. You, you showed me what kind of man you were and now I'm gonna show you what kind of man I can be. You're gonna see the old king in Tuesday. The king. Byron Price across the ring. Oh, nails man. it. Right down in the middle of the ring is David Price. Woo! There's a cover. That's one. all, sports fans. Uh. It's over. 57 wow. seconds. And not even much of a workout, to tell you the truth. Price doing all right. Lawler was uh, going along hey, with Jerry. him. But, uh, Jerry. Then Price unloaded with that fist, and Lawler wrapped it up in short order. 57 seconds the time Lawler gets the win. 57 seconds, and David Bryce, uh, wow, he came blazing out there. Jerry, um, how long? I'm slipping. What'd you say? 57 seconds. <laughs> yeah, he was really eager on it. Listen, Jerry, I was contacted by Terry Funk, and, and Funk wanted to have a little time. <laughs> I don't get that look on Terry your face. Funk. Yeah. Um, Terry Funk had a challenge and some comments. We accommodated him, and if you would, I'd like you to stand here and listen to, to this wild man, Terry Funk. A world heavyweight champion Terry Funk has uh, something that he wants to explain about and we uh, are obliging him with that time. First of all I'd like to say that Jerry Lawler is a son of a jackass. He's a lover of chickens. He has a one track mind the same way a hog does at supper time or slop time. He's got a one-track mind, just as that hog does, but he's not concerned about slop. I want to tell you, Lance, what he's concerned about. The man is concerned about money and money alone. And within this area right here, he has got the fans on his side. And besides having the fans on his side, he has got the police on his side. And besides the police being on his side, he's got the officials on his side. And I would like to say this, he's got you on his side. This is a completely one-sided thing where Jerry Lawler is involved. Now, I am telling you people that he has got one thing on his mind, and that's money. And I'm going to prove to you, Lance, that he doesn't have any guts. And you see right here is I have got a date. I have got a time, and I have got a place. This is a personal invitation sealed right here 
to Jerry Lawler to ask him to meet me by himself with nobody else involved at an area that I know, he knows, and you will know, and I want you to bring the camera down there, but I don't want a referee. I don't want the police. I don't want the fans. I don't want money for this. What I want is I want to compete against Jerry Lawler, and I want to get him down and hold him down, and I want to make him say to me, me personally terry funk you are the better man terry funk oh terry funk oh please let me up and let me go that's what i want to make him holler i want to see if he's got the guts to come down there the guts like I don't think a lot of people have around here, and I'm talking about the fans, Lance. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about a lot of different people, but Lawler does not have the stinking guts to come down there where no money is involved, where nothing is involved except personal pride, and I do have Texas pride, believe me. Well, yeah, there it is. Take this. Okay, I will take it, and I will deliver it to Lawler in there. No money, no fans. He's crying Homer and all that. Well, there's the challenge from Terry Funk to Jerry Lawler, and we'll deliver it to him. Yeah, well, that's what we're uh, here today for. The, uh, wild. He, he wants no fans, nobody else. I wish you'd take a look at it. I've already looked You've at it. You've already opened it. Yeah, I look for the challenge. Well, you know, sharing the information <laughs> right there. Take a look at that from Terry Funk. Hmm? Okay. I see well, it. I see it. No. <laughs> That, no react. I just want a reaction to it. What do you want me to say? <laughs> okay, I'll. Him, else around, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, what I want to do is just, huh? Yeah. Sure. That's okay. Yeah. I just, I just want to do an old opening in case this crazy thing comes off. And then if it does, we, you know, we've got something. If it doesn't, all we've lost is a, is a little time on it. So, let's see. I guess we got enough light and everything. We can, uh, we can pick it all down. And what we'll just, you know, I don't even know that they're, either one of them going to show up. Yeah, okay, pardon me. Let me get rid of the cigarette. Give me a countdown, will you? This is Lance Russell standing in the middle of an empty Mid-South Coliseum. I think most wrestling fans know that Terry Funk, the former NWA World Heavyweight Champion, issued a challenge to Jerry Lawler to meet man to man. Uh, of course, Funk had accused Lawler of having Homer decisions uh, in his battles with uh, Terry Funk previously and with brother Dory Funk Jr. and, and so forth. Uh, he said, no fans, no officials, no police, nobody, you and me. Uh, I guess you just have to call it what he's looking for as a shootout. He made the challenge, asked me to deliver the challenge publicly so that it would be on record that he had challenged Lawler. Uh, Jerry Lawler uh, later said, set it up. And so here we are. We're in the Mid-South Coliseum, 11,300 empty seats. And that's all that will be here to witness this particular bout, with the exception of myself and cameraman Randy West. Uh, Funk asked that there be a camera and a tape crew here so that we would be able uh, to have a record of his demolishing Lawler in the event that it takes place. It's right now 10 minutes to 1. The time that was set on it was 1 o'clock. Neither of the participants are here at this time. We will just have to wait and see. If it takes place, you'll have a record of it. If it doesn't, uh, then you will never see this. Um, but j let's just cut the cut the camera off now, Randy. We'll wait. If they show up, we'll do it. Okay. Anyway, here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on it. Coming into the Mid South Coliseum now. It is now a couple of minutes past one o'clock. Uh, Terry Funk, who initially issued the challenge. 
is is coming into the Coliseum. And Lance, Lance. Hey, yeah. I'm here. I'm ready to wrestle. Where is Lawler? I told well, you that he... the didn't hey, have enough now, guts minute, to come on this down is... here. I Just, said oh, wait a second. that the man this... has everybody on his side. We Lance. would like to use this if it takes place on later side. on. So please watch your language, will you? Because for crying out loud, we can't use a thing with you swearing like that. I don't give I came up here for a purpose to prove some thing. And I'll tell you what I came to prove, that Lawler didn't have the guts. I knew that he wouldn't come in the ring, Lance. You tell me where he is. He wouldn't show up for nothing. It's just a little after 1 o'clock right now, anyhow. So just watch it and please try to watch it. go ahead. Get in the ring in and go ahead and count him out. I'm not counting. I'm not the referee in this thing. Count him out. You asked me to bring a camera down. You count him out of the Hey, come on, Terry. I told you people. Then Lawler did not have the guts to come down here before an empty arena, and he doesn't. Now you go ahead and count him out. If you don't, I'll count him out. All right, well, you just ask us to bring the cameras down. That's what I did. We're here. Hey, now, you, I'm not I'm a here. referee. I'm here. I know you're I'm going to go ahead. Is he under the ring, Lance? Oh, no, he's not under, under the, the ring? ring. He hasn't. Is he up in the stands? He, he, hasn't, he hasn't shown up yet. in the yet. press box? Where is he? he I don't know where he is. Guts to come down here and meet me in the ring. I'm gonna count him out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's out. I'm gonna go ahead and declare myself the winner right now. Okay, I fine. Told the That's people great. The man was a coward. That he didn't have the guts. That he didn't have anything. That he didn't have the intestinal fortitude. He is a. All right. Well, listen. Okay, you proved your point on the all thing. Your enough all right i've heard enough of your <laughs> heard enough of the <laughs> from the people of memphis i've heard enough <laughs> about how good this man is supposed to be well you ju it's just a little he may have gotten tied up in traffic or something like it's that i don't know right now yeah i know it's after one now i'm standing around here like an idiot like a fool well, I'm a you fool. you i'm a fool i'm an idiot standing okay around. so you proved Waller your point thinks this kind of crap is funny he thinks it's funny leaving me sit around here like this. I knew that the man didn't have enough guts to get up here in the first place. Yeah. You tell me. I tell you that there's a good possibility that he got tied up some way and wasn't coming in here. Well, where am I? I know your plane oh, got in no on time. I understand that, I came all Terry. The way from yeah, I know that. Why don't you go ahead? Why don't you think you, sir? You're on his side all the time. Hey. Why don't you go ahead and come up in here? I'd I'm like not. To listen, no, I'm not I'd interested in that. I'd like to have a little practice with you. Will you knock that stuff off? I'd like now. to have a... Look, you're the one you that... Hey, 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 come on. Answer. Okay, now look, Terry. You asked me I'm to come a down here. And an I athlete, and you treat me with hey, respect. Hey, well, wait. Just, you I didn't. Treat me with okay, respect. I didn't. I wasn't meaning anything personal by it, except give the guy a chance. It's just a couple of minutes past the time. You asked me to come down here and bring the cameraman down here, and we're here. And I'm here in the event that Lawler, we set up to show it and, and have the match in there. Now, we've done our part of the thing, and the fact that he's not here isn't my well, fault. Now, look who's here. There, over here, well, Randy. Now, look who's there. Well, if it isn't a clown. Okay, I'm going to get over here and get. Clown. I'm going to get. Hey, Lawler, come on up here. I'm going to break your crown. I'm going to break his crown, Lance. Look at that fool. Look at that idiot. Don't you realize that there's nobody here? You jackass. You're nothing but Jerry a Lawler in his uh, regular wrestling attire with a crown I and the cape. I can't believe that you had the guts to show up. I can't believe he had the guts to he's, show up. He's here, Terry. I can't believe okay. that he had the guts to show well, up. Well, he's here, and he is apparently obviously ready to go. He's got his full attire, and he is set. Come on, Lord. Come on. We're going to get back over at... Uh, what do you got in there? What do you got in there? We got a, what do you got, a gun or something on you? You got a knife? You got a knife on you? You got a gun on you? What have you got on you? I ain't a gun for you, Funk, no knife. I don't need nothing. Get back around the table here. Come on. Well, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Come on in the ring. We waited and waited. There ain't no referee here. Come on in the ring. That's right. No referee. No officials. Terry Funk already in the ring. Jerry Lawler now coming up to the uh, and uh, 
we'll just have to take care of the language on this thing. Funk is just raving. I'll give you a chance right now. I'll give him one chance. You can go ahead and you can get out of here right now if you want to. I'll give Funk you telling chance. Lawler he'll give him one chance. He can leave right now if he wants to. There's no officials. Harry Funk trying to get Lawler to come uh, say that he's giving it up. I don't need to talk, Lawler. I don't need to talk. Don't worry, I'm not running my mouth. I asked for this <laughs> not you. I asked for it. I'm here. Well, I'm right here, too, Lawler. Well, they're both in the ring right now. Unbelievable, 11,300 empty seats. Terry Funk. Jerry the King Lawler. Up, oh, Funk just spin it, Lawler. They're flailing away. Lawler went into a side headlock. Funk back. They're winding around the ring and outside of it right now. Come on. Come on. Terry Funk down on the floor. Lawler in the ring. Back up and let me back in. This obviously is a battle to the finish. Funk telling Lawler to back up and let him in the ring. And now Terry Funk back in the ring again. Right in the corner by our timer's table. Lawler and Funk going at each other, hammer and tong down on the mat for the first time. Funk out on the ring apron and Lawler follows him out in the concrete. Our photographer, and there they go, back in the chairs. Funk down, Lawler pounded on him. Nothing but a street brawl happening right here, and that was the idea that Terry Funk had. Funk picks up two chairs, fires them over at Lawler. Terry Funk, Jerry Lawler facing off on the concrete floor. We brought our tape cameras and a still photographer down, and that's the only people that are here witnessing that Funk down underneath the chairs. Lawler follows it up. Comes right over on top of him. And Lawler pounds him. First good shot at. He really zoomed one home. Funk now backing up around the ring. Lawler chasing him out to the other side of the ring. Lawler saying, come on back up here. And Funk grabs one of the uh, identification standards. He busts the top of it off, grabs the bracket with the number still in it. Jerry Lawler in the ring. Terry Funk coming up now, his face bleeding. Lawler really got him one shot over there, put him down in the chairs. Pounding away on Lawler. Lawler, who tried to get out, is knocked down to the floor. Flunk, Funk throws the standard down. Look out, Raymond. Funk now with a pile driver right down on the concrete floor. He bangs it in, blood running down Funk's nose and through his head. He's cut. But Lawler down on the floor. He may be out of it with that pile driver down on the floor. Funk wanted Lawler to say, I quit on the microphone, is what he's trying to make him say. Kill him! Kill him! Funk going after Lawler at the eyes. Now kill him! Kill him! I'm sure you can hear Terry Funk. What a vicious thing. Lawler goes right back into the rows of chairs. Funk knocks over the chairs with Lawler's body, and now Funk across the way, slams down the steps leading up to the ring. Uh-oh, he's, he's trying to get a club of some type. He busts off right in half one of the two befores. Lawler now trying to get back up, stumbles back into the chairs, but he's back on his feet, and here comes, here comes Funk with that spike in his hands. Slams Lawler down on the table. And Terry Funk standing completely wide open. This is awful. Come on! I 
Ask him! I see it. Yeah. Ask him! Ask him! All right, come Ask him! Terry, all right. Ask him! I got the microphone over here. You ask him? Well, Tell Terry, watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Come on. Come on, Terry. It's all over with. Terry Funk climbing back up in the ring right now. Yes! Tell him, Lover! Tell him! Funk with the... Put the ape! Come on! Come on! Come on, Lover! Put that... Tell him! Come on, Terry! Come on, get his eyes! I got his eyes! Come on! I got get his eyes! Yes, don't kill me! Well, be you try to get in here! Don't be bad! Terry! Lawler fighting his way back has just slammed Terry Funk. Kicked him right in the elbow where he had it. Terry Funk is down now. Lawler back on his feet. Lawler picks up that stick that uh, oh. Oh. Terry Funk had. Oh, no. My eye! Put it down now. The, the man's eye. Oh. I can't see! Doctor! Doctor! God help me! Help me! Quit. Please help me! Help me! That's My right. His eye. eyes hurt bad. My eye. Mm. My okay, we'll get some. My, My eye. Terry Funk. My eye. That's a victim of his own plotting in there. Lawler kicked him right in the elbow and the see. stick stuck please. Terry Funk right I in the see, eye. Please. Lawler, please. Somebody get me okay. help. We gotta get get, help. Yeah, we got to get a doctor in here on please. this thing because he really is. Oh, get me help. that's awful. Get me okay. help. Get me help. And that, ladies and gentlemen, Bye. is exactly why. You there are officials assigned two matches to try to keep some kind of order rather than have the animal type of thing that you saw here today. Uh, oh, please, my eye. Jerry Lawler my walks away. My eye. Uh, I guess the victor my out of it, but they're, Lance, it's pretty difficult. Me, okay, me, listen, Randy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get... Me, Lance, okay, please. wait. Call a doctor, Lance, okay. please. Let me go get something. Call... Okay, okay. Look at it, Lawler. Please hey. look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh. Listen, I'll go, I'll go. Help me, please. Okay, I'll go call for God, it. Lance, Lance, please don't leave me here. I mean, I'll get somebody. No, leave me. This <laughs> That's it. Get somebody to help me. My eye. My eye. My eye. Where is he? Where is Lawler? Where'd he go? Where is Lawler? My eye. Where is that chicken? Where's that... Howard, where's Lawler? He's yellow. Lawler's yellow. He's yellow. Lawler, come back here. You yellow pig. 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 Yes, I heard after that match with Lawler. Sure, I'm missing some teeth. Yes, I've got permanent damage to my eye. But have you seen Jerry Lawler? Has anybody seen him? Does he have enough guts to come back against me again? I am the meanest man in professional wrestling. They had to pull me off a of Lawler while I was beating on the man's body while he was laying there. This week they're going to have a fence around the ring and you people remember what I'm saying to you because I'm speaking the truth you will never see 
Jerry Lawler wrestle again. So if you want to be there for his retirement match, well, make sure you come down there because I'm going to take the man and I'm going to hurt him so bad that he will not be able to wrestle again. If I have to, I'll break one leg. If he gets up and hops to me, I'll break the other leg. If he comes crawling on his belly, I'll kick him in the head. Believe me, Jerry Lawler is going to pay and he's going to pay dearly for what he did to me. Hey, I love my family, and my family loves me. My brother loves me, but I have no respect for anybody like Lawler. I have a definite hatred for the man, and I'm going to take that sickness out of my mind. And the nightmares churning it up. Winters never had a chance. He was no. coming through the rope when they front face locked him in there. And that took care of the action. I came here for a purpose. I came here for a purpose. I want to know where Judge Jerry Lawler is. I came here to confront him today. Where is Lawler? Lawler is in Florida. He had other commitments. You are a liar. I, you are a liar. I came here for a purpose. We got a match. I came here to go ahead and not show before 10,000 people that Lawler is a nothing. I wanted to show it before 10 million people. You are a liar. I'm not, Terry. Why don't we talk about I want to show the people here. Lawler the is the meanest man in professional wrestling. I am the meanest man in professional wrestling. Okay, I want to show you. So I'll show you. Who, who can I wrestle? Who can we I don't wrestle? have anybody I here. here to wrestle Lawler. No, Hell, don't, you do. We don't I'm have. Going, hey, come I'm on, Terry. Right now, I, no, don't. Do, now, now listen. Don't get involved in this thing. Terry Funk. Oh, boy. Terry Funk, out of nowhere, comes in to the area. Jimmy Hart tells the Night Bears to get out of there and let him have it. Referee Paul Martin, that's going to be a disqualification in there. Leonard fired into the ropes. He's kicked out on the floor. It's Funk. Come on now, Terry, get out of there. Rich Winter straight up and he slammed down as Funk. He's got no business in here. He's got his beefs he can settle some other time. He doesn't even have any business being here. Winter put back down. Oh. Terry Funk. Former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Dumped over, slammed into the camera. Now he pounded on Leonard. Oh, man, man. Hey, hey, can we get, get, let's get Funk out of here. Jerry Funk's beef with Lawler has nothing to do with a young fella like Tim Leonard up there. And now Funk attacks the Nightmare and says, come on, Terry, I just, hey. Okay. Terry, can we just take it on out and we'll talk about it later. Lawler it is out. not here. No, I can't say it any plainer than that. He Where is he? He's in Florida. He's got I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you one thing. I am the meanest man in professional wrestling. And you're on Lawler's side. I'm not on Lawler's side. I just don't the, want the, the trouble that you're The talking. referee's on Lawler's side. You idiots are on Lawler's side. And evidently, the airplane people are on Lawler's side because they informed him that I was coming here. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Now I am going to take Lawler and I'm going to Come on, Terry. Okay, okay.
Okay. And I'm not only going to show him, I'm going to take him out. I'm going to take him out. Boy, I wish somebody I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him out. Not for a short time. I am going to hey, take hey, him hey, out. Come on, Terry. Hey, for listen. Listen. Hey, come on, please. Will uh, you just hey. I moved here. Well, I'm moving here. I'm not leaving. I am here from now on. This area is horse country. This area is horse country. And believe me, I am gonna be the biggest stud around. Okay, we'll talk to uh, talk to you about it later. Terry Funk, please, yeah. yeah. Move him out now. I'll tell you what we better do. Uh, let's take a break and, and we'll be back. Everybody gaze at it. Everybody drool at it. Everybody run from it. But you can't hide Lawler. You can't hide Otto. You can't hide the fabulous one. You can't hide Dutch Mantell from Podunk, Texas. Come on, boy. Be a man. Stand up. Tell them where you're really from. You ain't from Texas. We don't make that kind in Texas. But the people of Memphis are finding out what a real Texan's like. And in just a little while, they're going to have the opportunity to come and see me because I'm coming to this area. I'm coming to this area to kick the king down. I'm coming to this area to take the, the weird guys and ship them back to Florida. I'm coming to establish a new power, a new ruler in Memphis. If it's not Stan Hansen, it's got to be the lariat. Ask Bruno San Martino. Ask them all, brother, because this is the thing that has stopped them. This is the thing that has done it. And the drive that's inside me, the drive that makes me go all the way, 100%, any way I can, any way, Lawler. Have you ever dealt with anybody like me who's big, who's nasty, who's fast, and who likes to hurt? I chew tobacco. I'm not good looking, and I don't care if anybody likes me or not. I got what I want. But not in this wrestling business. And that's what I'm here for. Lawler, you got something I want. I do you have something I want. The fabulous ones, y'all got something I want. And what y'all got is y'all's hides. And I'm the man who can take it off of you. I am the man. Sometimes I wonder if anybody can stop me. Well, I know nobody in Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi, all these play Arkansas. There ain't a man alive, man, can step toe to toe with me. But I'm smart, too. I know what I got to do to be a winner. This thing right here has made me successful. It's going to make me a lot more successful. I've got the hunger, Lawler. You're fat and happy, boy. Everybody's fat and happy, but I'm not. I've been cleaned out and I'm starting over. And I'm hungry, Jack, and I'm starting to the top. And I'm gonna walk right over everybody in the Memphis area or wherever, it doesn't matter. Because everybody's gonna have a new household name and it's called a Lariat. And who drives that Lariat? Stan Hansen from Borger, Texas, the biggest, baddest one of all. To go. He came in here, he won the TV title. I'm talking about Stan Hansen and here's what he had to say. Everybody's gazing at the biggest, the nastiest back there is. And on that back is a skull. And what does that skull represent? It represents the bad man from Borger, Texas. Not some guy that's got a little hair growing out here on the chin of his nose and rides around in a white horse. It's not some muscle man from down in Florida running around the beaches. It represents a guy that's worked all of his life hoeing. A guy that's hungry. A guy that wants to go to the top. A guy that wants to get in there, brother, and kick anybody out of the way. Whether in the teeth, below the belt, in the back, sneaking up behind them one-on-one, -on -one, and it don't matter, brother, because I want to be successful. I've got to drive, and I'll do what i got to do to be the winner. Jerry Lawler, let me tell you something. You might be the king in Memphis. But get ready to get kicked out of that throne, brother. It's a long way down. And that little weird guy running around on the beach, Austin Idol. You guys make me sick, muscle guys. 
Well, I go to the gym and train, and I do a lot of running, and I do a lot of hoeing cotton and picking cotton. I've done it all my life. And every time I wanted to quit, every time I wanted to quit, my daddy took a big old belt out and strapped me on the back and said, hold it into the road, boy. Hold it into the road. Don't you ever quit. People in Memphis, y'all get ready because the TV champion's coming back and I'm just gonna drive my time. Bring on all these little sissies. You wanna see a man in Memphis for a change? Come see the bad man from Borger, Texas. I'm the baddest one of them all. Large man himself, Stan Hansen, the TV champ, had some words. We've got him on tape. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, it's great being from Texas, man. When you walk all over the world, I fly all over the world. Why? Because I'm hungry, man, and I don't have a lot. But people pay me to come in someplace for a reason. And the reason is they want to see somebody like me, a man, a headhunter. Everybody knows by now about the lariat and how it can take people's heads off. How I broke Bruno San Martino's neck. How I put countless people in the hospital. Maybe it might be Jerry Lawler. Oh, God, I hope it is. Maybe it's going to be Austin Idol. I'd like to get that little sissified slob down on the beach. It doesn't matter where. He's not a man. I'd like to get the fabulous ones and take them down to the ground. The bad man from Borger, Texas is here for a reason. I'm here because I am the biggest, the baddest Texan of them all. No more imitations. We're talking about a big man that can kick ass. We're talking about a man that can get down and do it anywhere he wants to. I'm talking about a man that'll take you on straight. I'll take you on from behind. I'll take you on sideways. I'll take you on anywhere because I am the man. Jerry Lawler, you might be the king of Memphis. Austin Idol, you might be the heart rock. Both of y'all make me sick, boy. Where I come from, we take a little peach and we stick it in the gun. Because we get ready. We get ready for one thing. Not talking, not kissing the girls, not kissing them fat, sloppy wives out there. I'm here for one reason, to beat somebody. Because I'm hungry and I'm on the way to the top. And nobody, I mean nobody, is going to stop me. Everybody get where? The Lariat is coming to Memphis, and it's the baddest thing y'all have ever seen. Tell you what, the bell just sounded, but let me tell you that does not even begin to give a glimmer of the action that has taken place already. 
Austin Idol coming to the ring to defend against Stan Hansen, the big 300 pounder from Borger, Texas, was jumped right down on the floor. He was kicked, beaten. Austin is bleeding about the head. Hansen has just poured it to him completely. And finally, the referee got him back in the ring and rang the bell. So that, my friend, is exactly what has happened up to this point. And though we're only 50 seconds into the official match, what took place before the official match started is what has taken a toll on the idol. The universal heartthrob pounded down hard, and the big guy out of Borga drops an elbow that almost put him through the bottom of the ring. Hansen said, I'm not ready yet. He's a guy that says, I came up the hard way. I'm not pretty, don't care. I'm in it for the money, and I beat people up bad. And boy, he is doing that to the heartthrob right now. He calls his big left arm the lariat. And the referee, Paul Morton, backs him up. And Hanson just brutalizing the heart drop. He won't give me any of those fancy wrestling holes, but brother, he will show put the meanness out on you. Hanson, a couple of more shots at Austin. The idol takes a chop. comes off the rope, Austin Idol. Nailing him hard with a foot and goes after him with a chop. Slams him hard with that right hand. Stan Hansen put down in the middle of the ring. Stan is the TV champ, having defeated Tom Pritchard. He's about twice Pritchard's size. Austin Idol giving away plenty of weight and Idol comes in at 242 crowd getting into it now is the Idol pounding away on the big Texan elbow and he's back into the ropes Hart comes up on the ring apron with his arms wrapped up. Stan Hansen being rattled by Austin Idol. Uh-oh. Idol had moved the referee out of the way, turned around to re-attack. Stan Hansen, Hansen reached out with that big foot, kicked idle, knocked referee Paul Morton down. And there's that lariat he talks about. Clotheslined him with that big, big left arm of his. With a referee down, idle out on the concrete. Stan Hansen brings Paul Morton over. He's counting at him. And at the count of six, Paul Morton, who really didn't know what happened, he gets to the 10 count, and that's gonna be it. The official time is gonna be four minutes and 52 seconds. There was no disqualification. Stan Hansen got to Austin Idol on a count out in one of the most brutal exhibitions 
in and out of a ring I've seen in a long time. This Hanson is a gorilla. And the universal heartthrob takes a big knee again. The referee, with his arm motivated by Stan Hansen. Stan was pumping it like a pump handle. He even knocks Jimmy Hart back. Look at it. Boy, this guy's crazy. Found it on Austin Idol with that international heavyweight belt. And Hansen walks out of here, the champion. He said, I don't care so much about the championship like as I do the money that's involved in it. Hey, boy, look at that belt right there, the baddest one of them all. Well, I'll tell you, Randy, that's one guy I sure don't want to get in any argue about. Uh-uh. He goes walking back up into the crowd by himself. But I'll tell you, if anybody back there has any thoughts of jumping him, they better change their mind. That is a bad dude, Stan Hansen, the new international champion. <coughs> That's right now, call in the Universal Heartthrob, Austin Idol. I know that uh, he's certainly in the happiest man in the world, but he's a very determined competitor. You know, uh, I don't mind, Lance. I don't mind fighting anybody anytime, anywhere. And I'm going to admit right here in front of anybody, there ain't a man alive that can't be beaten. Now, when I was strolled down that Mid-South Coliseum, darling, I was looking for one thing. I was looking for a tough fight, and I was ready for it. But I was not expected to be Pearl Harbor from behind. And that, exactly. Now that means it sound like an excuse. If it does, then that's my excuse. And I got the stitches right here to prove it. Now I want Stan Hudson to know one thing. There's apparently two things we got in common. That neither one of us might kick in anybody's can. And there's another thing you and I have in common, Hudson, that we both got big mouths. And I don't mind telling anybody that I got a big fat mouth. Now we got one thing we're going to prove. And we got one point to settle, Jackson. Either you're going to shut me up I'm going to shut you up. And I'm telling you right now, Jack, and this ain't no Jack guy, and this ain't no Jack. I don't care if there's 10 people. I don't care if there's 10,000 people. I want you to know one thing. You ain't never seen what you're about ready to see, darling. And then nobody out here has seen us now. When I want to reach right in my guts, when I want to reach right in and grab the flesh out of my guts and pull the devil out. Because I'm going to yank that devil out of my guts and let it spill right out of my mouth. And I'm going to take it on you, you out on you, you creep. I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life. I'm going to eat you alive, Jack. I'm going to snort you up one nostril and spit you out the other. Well, let's go down about it, and you can understand why. Having lost his international heavyweight title to Stan Hansen, uh, the marauder who is the opponent for Austin Idol jumped him as he climbed through the rope. Here comes the referee, ring the bell, and we're running, Dave. Yeah, the marauder, I guess, uh, saw his, that Hanson had uh, jumped Austin Idol in a match and had some success, so he was going to try it, too. I think he made a mistake. We've seen it many times before when somebody has lost a match that uh, was pretty important to them. They come out and they take the vengeance out on someone else, and this is the case here, Stan Hansen. I think it's uh, some of the wrestling fans know, uh, took the international heavyweight title. There's the Las Vegas leg lock. And it looks like the idol has got it going. He gives it up. And Austin Idol with that Las Vegas leg lock has got the masked marauder wishing not only that he hadn't jumped him when he came through the rope, but that he had never been in the ring with him today. That's right. Time on it officially 42 seconds.
International Heavyweight Championship underway. Hanson won the title last week. Austin Idol, who had jumped from behind last time, this time the Idol returned the favor. Man, I'm telling you, here we go. Stan Hanson and Austin Idol. Idol is ready this time. He wasn't going to be bushwhacked. He met him this time. He came up from behind. Hanson scoots out, out into the table. Hanson sent in by Austin Idol. Into the table again. Idol yelling, remember last week? He picks Hanson up, slams him in head first into the table. You don't do that to um, Idol too much. They tore up our table here. Idol drops with the elbow. One. A kicks out at the count of one. Hanson hits Idol low. Big Stan Hanson, international heavyweight champion. Not the most vicious wrestler that I've ever seen. He's all over Idol. Idol came smoking. Stan Hansen picks Idol up. Kicks him in the midsection again. We heard a lot about Stan Hansen. This is only our second opportunity to see him. All we can say is that not many people like him. But you can't deny he's one of the meanest people you've ever seen. Oh. Drops Idol across the top rope. Hanson. Drops across with the elbow again. Second time. Austin Idol about out of it now. This Idol is tough. Don't count him out for a second. Hanson picks him up by the hair. The idol in the corner. Look at Hanson go. Crowd getting behind idol. Hanson drops the elbow again to the back. This guy, Lance, is murderous. Can you believe it? Take a look at this guy's thighs, Randy. They're as big as most people. The thigh is as big as most people around. He is huge. Sends him in head first. Once again, right hand to the midsection. Hanson, of course, as most of you know, have been all over the world, has held titles everywhere he's been. Picks Idol up, drops him down to the canvas. Look at Hanson, second rope. Idol was out of the way. Thank goodness for Idol he was, because if Hanson would have connected with that one, I'm telling you, it would have been all she wrote for Austin Idol. But now Hanson came down on his knees and Idol going to work on it and he can hurt you. The Idol grabs a hold of the left leg of uh, Hanson, drops across the knee on the knee of Stan Hanson. Hanson backing away Holding his left knee, Austin Idol using the ropes again, places the rope or the leg over the rope and drops on the knee again. Idol 
in uh, a great use of strategy. And now, by the ring post, Hatson begging him not to do it. Oh, my goodness. Idle. Payback time. I don't care how big his thighs are, he can't withstand much of that. Idol slammed it in to that part of the ring. And look at here. He was going for the Las Vegas leg lock when Hart jumped up on the ring. Now Idol decked Hart now. Idol catches Hart. Stan Hansen catches Idol. Idol now with his foot caught in the ropes, the bottom two ropes. Stan Hansen pushes the referee down. Hey! I'm going to teach you boys about that figure four leg run! Hansen out of the ring. Referee Paul Morton calls for a disqualification. And what did Hanson say, Lance? I couldn't understand him. I couldn't understand him either. Uh, all I know is he's really got a vendetta out for the heartthrob, Austin Idol. And he is going after him. Austin's leg caught in that rope. He's hanging down. And Stan Hanson really working on it. He's trying to put him out of action. No doubt about that. 300 pounds of Hanson dropping across on the left leg. All right, here comes Jerry Lawler, Lance. The King catches Hanson with that right hand that the King made famous. A battle between Hanson and Lawler. Ventura. Jesse Ventura sticks up from behind, joining forces with uh, Hanson. And now they're on top of uh, Lawler. Ida was pounded. Idol asking for a chair, gets one. They're really working on Lawler. Idol is really worked over. He's having trouble getting back up. He has that chair, Lance. Big chair wow. and Ventura, then Hanson. Idol going after him. Ventura trying to get out of the way. Officially, I believe, a disqualification on Hanson. So the winner of the match will be Austin Idol. The title stays with Stan Hanson. Good uh, that uh, Jerry Lawler came out to save Idol. Idol in trouble, then Jesse Ventura came out. Once again, Austin Idol, the winner by a disqualification. We have more action, so stay with us. become a legal weapon in the ring. Stan Hansen out of Boulder, Texas. That's tonight. Universal Heart Drum, Las Vegas, Nevada. Stan Hansen, he doesn't want the uh, the bull rope taped to his wrist. He has to hang on to the That would make it easier for him to get down and get a hold of the cowbell and uh, use it against Austin Idol. But the uh, crowd and Austin Idol say, uh uh. Got to follow the rules and take the rope to the wrist. Jerry Calhoun now uh, has the wrist taped of uh, Stan Hansen. Jimmy Hart hanging on the corner over there by Hansen as he drops down off the ringside now in the chair where he belongs. We are underway with his 
Texas Bull Rope match. And Hanson over the corner. In order to, uh, in order to be able to use that cowbell as a legal uh, object and uh, win the match, you have to go over and touch all four corners. Drag your opponent over. You must touch all four corners. Hanson out of the ring. The rope, the rope has come untaped from Stan Hansen's wrist. Austin Idol with the rope in the ring by himself. Hansen down on the floor. Referee Jerry Calhoun pulling the count, trying to get Stan Hansen back into the ring. Hansen didn't really want the, uh, the rope taped to his wrist anyway. But, uh, finally relented to get uh, the match going. The rope has come loose. Referee, Get it firmly attached again. This time he's uh, tying a knot in it. Get about the tape and just tie it. Good tape being brought to ringside. I don't know if we're going to use it or not. I think it's just going to go with, uh, with a tie. Back to action. The international title at stake. Stan Hansen being challenged by Austin Adler. Got some trouble with the, uh, the, with the rope on the left wrist of Stan Hansen. I think Jerry Calhoun, well, he is using it. Maybe he is uh, securing it. Again, Austin Idol gets tired of fooling around, waiting for him to get that rope going. He heads for the corner after Stan Hansen, back against the turnbuckles. He nailed him with that cowbell in the middle of the rope. Right at the top of the floor. Hansen on the mat. Idol. Challenging Hansen to get back to his feet. He does. Idol reaches for the boot to the midsection, follows with another. Smashes him back against the ropes. Flips him across the ring and rolls him down to the mat. Austin Idol drops down across the chest. Stan Hansen back on his feet. Idol with a rope wrapped around his neck. He's choking him, no doubt about it. Referee is there trying to get that uh, corrected. Austin Idol right across the eyes by Stan Hansen. Cowbell across the back of the shoulder. It is the top of the head. Idle again. Beal with a cowbell. Stan Hansen pounds him in the top of the head. Idle backing into a corner. Stan Hansen. Into the foot. Now with Idle tied up in the corner. Referee Jerry Calhoun there trying to back him away. You see Jimmy Hart. Hanson's the manager for this one. And Hanson making liberal use of that bell tied to the middle of the rope. Idle may still be having trouble seeing as uh, Hanson raked him across the eye. Oh, he's got a cut opened up on his head. Idol has been cut. As Hansen repeatedly hit him with that cowbell on the top of the head. Stan Hansen with the cowbell over to one corner. He tags it. Got to tag all four now to win the match. He comes back to Idol lying in the middle of the ring. The rope has come loose from Austin Idol's wrist. But Stan Hansen not slowed down. He's still pounding on Idol. Using the fist and the cowbell. The referee, you can see, trying to get the rope back around Austin Idol's uh, wrist. Texas Bull Rope match continues. With the international title on the line, Austin Idol trying to take it away from Stan Hansen. Hansen grabs him by the hair. Using the right fist. Now whips Idol into the ropes and the upper arm as he comes off of there. Idol down on the mat. Idle in trouble. Again, Stan Henson dropping to the knee. Idle. Roll out of the 
the way, get to his feet. Over the turnbuckles, Hanson uses that top turnbuckle as he slams Heidel's head into it. Now the right fist. Corners have been tagged by Stan Hansen. So signified by the referee. Remember, he's got to tag all four of them in order to win this one. Corner number three. Three out of four corners touched by the man from Borger, Texas, Stan Hansen, as he defends his international title. He starts for the fourth corner. Idle yanks him back. So Hansen still has not won this match. He's only touched three corners. He's got one more to go before he gets the victory. Idle on his feet. With a right hand, knocked Hanson off his feet. Both wrestlers down. Hanson, right fist. As the match started, Austin Idol pretty well in control. Then Hanson, using the cowbell and the fist, got a cut opened up on Austin Idol's forehead. He was in control most of the way. But Austin Idol, with a comeback, now has Hanson down on the mat. Idol, Dalen, that bell. Now Idol holds Hanson over to the turnbuckle. Idol again with a cowbell. Down to the mat, Stan Hanson. Idol tags the corner. That's one. Tags Hanson over. Tags corner number two. Remember, he's got to tag all four of them. Hanson tag three. Idle tag two. Idle dragging Hanson over. Idle does not get the third corner tag. Back to work on Stan Hanson. Hanson on the mat. Idle back on his feet. Third corner for Austin Idle. Now both wrestlers have tagged three corners. Since Idol has tagged the three corners, if he can get that fourth corner tag, he wins. He'll take the belt away from Stan Hansen. However, Hansen will have to start over. He'll have to tag all four corners again. Jimmy Hart down at ringside, something in Hansen's hand. Austin Idol struggling, trying to pull him away from the ropes. Hansen with the feet locked over the bottom rope as Idol is trying to get him away from there, get over, tag that fourth corner, and win the match. And powder in the eyes, Austin Idol goes down to the mat. Idol, one corner away from victory, has something thrown in his face that was passed into the ring to Hanson by Jimmy Hart. Hanson tags the corner. That's one. Austin Idol still on the mat. His eyes really been worked on in several different ways during this match. First, Hanson raked his hand across his eyes. He got a cut on the forehead. Now the powder. That's two corners that Hanson has now tagged. He's got to tag all four of them before Austin Idol tags one. Stan Hansen, in corner number three, tags the post. One corner to go for Stan Hansen. He will have defended the international heavyweight title. He starts for the corner, can't reach it. Austin Idol struggling to keep him away from that corner. Three corners tag. Hansen has one to go. He's there, he tags the corner. All four corners tag. Jimmy Hart heads for the ring. And Stan Henson has his hand raised in the Texas Bull Rope match for the international title. Henson himself cut up by that cowbell by Austin Idol. There it is, the hand raised of Stan Henson out of Borger, Texas. The international champion, Austin Idol. Still there in the ring after that power or whatever it was was thrown in his face. Jimmy Hart placed in the hands of Stan Hansen. Idol talking to the referee about that situation. 
Referee Jerry Calhoun. Now trying to get some verification. He checked with Jimmy Hart. That's no place to get verification at all there. Hanson, Hart, yelling at the crowd. The referee back to Austin Idol. And the referee reverses the decision. Decision reversed. Austin Idol, the new international heavyweight champion. A reverse decision by the referee. And there he is, Austin Idol, now owns that international belt. to tell you the absolute truth about it. A bunkhouse match. Anything goes. The heartthrob and Big Stan Hansen come in fully dressed. You notice Hansen has a set of chaps on. The only thing he disposed of was his big cowboy hat. Hansen 300 pounder from Borger, Texas. And he is a mean son of a gun. Boy, Hanson spitting bullets tonight. He fires Idle right into the ropes and down on the concrete. Look out. He's got on big boots, too. He can kick your brains out of those. And Idle feeling some of the wrath of Big Stan Hanson. Drops that huge elbow on him, coming right after him, and now he's stomping on him with those boots. Pulls all the ring ropes, or rather the retaining ropes around the ring down. And referee Paul Morton saying, come on, get it back in the ring. And Hanson said, I don't have to do anything. Anything goes. Get out of here. And he pushes the referee away. Well, I'm not sure. I think he was saying I'm number one. And the heartthrob, who's had a few knocks before, not one to be counted out easily, goes right back after the big Texan. 
And look at Austin Idol go. Bam! Slams him into that ring post. Idol wraps that rope around his neck. And Hanson goes for the eyes. Mean, brutal bout. Hanson in the ring. He's still got the retaining rope around his throat. Now he rips it off and goes right back after Austin Idol. Hanson pounding away. What a brutal one this one is. Hanson is so big, hard to believe. He's got his knee down. Looks like he's trying to break Austin Idol's jaw as he grinds down on it. Now let me tell you, you look at Idol and I think you know his physical dimensions. He's a 242 pounder. Great physical shape. Hanson just dominates him size-wise. Austin catches him a hard one and stuns Hanson. Hanson trying to clear his head up as his idol. We've only been underway less than four minutes, but there's been a whole month's worth of Brutality going on with these guys slamming each other. Anything goes, a bunkhouse match, and Idol working on Hanson with those boots of his own. Whoa. Austin Idol. With the upper hand at the moment on Stan Hansen. And he puts Hansen into agony. The idol going after him again. Oh. Follows him down on a concrete floor. goes to his boot whips a rope out and he's got it around Idol's neck remember anything goes he takes Austin down to the canvas referee Paul Morton trying to get him to let up Paul Martin slamming him with a couple of forearms, and now he goes after the referee. Puts it around his neck. Hanson tying the referee to the top turnbuckle. Austin Idol, meanwhile, pulls a tire tool out of his boot. Referee Paul Martin strung up. On that turnbuckle, and here comes Idol after Hanson. In and out of the ring. Hanson wants no part of Idol with a tire tool in his hand. Uh-oh. As Austin came through the ropes, Hanson kicked him, knocked the tool loose from him. <coughs> Austin Idol stopped him as he came down with that tire tool. And Paul Morton is loose from that rope, finally. Here comes promoter Eddie Marlin. And he pulls Hanson off of there. Uh-oh, Eddie's in trouble. 
catches him with a big lariat. Stan Hansen going absolutely berserk. Kicks Morton out on a concrete floor. Slams Eddie Marlin, but look at Austin Idol. He's blistering him with that tire tool. The big crazy Texan. Take it off. Eddie Marlin stretched out in the middle of the ring up there where Hanson whipped him into the ropes, nailed him with that lariat, dropped on him with a giant elbow. Paul Morton, still rocky, climbs back into the ring. And brother, I'll tell you, we've never seen anybody jump on a promoter like that. This Hanson, really buggy. Thank goodness Austin Idol got a hold of that tire tool. And ran Hanson out of there. Hanson leaves the ring as uh, as he wanted no more part of Austin Idol. They're helping uh, Eddie Marlin out of it now. As he was really wrapped with that in there. Eddie, you okay? Stan Hanson is suspended. He's through in Memphis. You can tell him off. Andy Marlin has just told us that Stan Hansen has been suspended and is through in Memphis wrestling. We've already made a call during this particular break and coming out right now is Jimmy Hart. This is at the request, by the way, of Jimmy Hart that we made this phone call and we called one of the international stars of uh, wrestling, a big six foot four, 265 pound Jesse the Body Ventura. Jesse, are you there? Okay, wait just a second. Jimmy Hart's got something to say to you. Here, Jim. Jesse. Yeah. We can't wait, man, for you to get down here, baby. We're, we're, everybody's talking about you. Everybody knows what a superstar in professional wrestling you really are, what movies you've been in, who you've dated in, the, in all the, the, the star fields in, in, in California. They call you Mr. San Diego. I want you to talk to the people here right on TV if you would. Let me tell you people something. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis is supposed to be known for having the king of rock, Elvis Presley. Well, let me tell you, I'm personal friends with the real king of rock, and that's Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. <laughs> I'm coming down there for one reason, and that is to get Jerry, the so-called King Lawler. You know, he built up his reputation whipping on a little dude by the name of Andy Kaufman. And I personally found out after he whipped Andy Kaufman, he wanted a match with Henny Youngman. Now, that's really... <laughs> I'm Jerry Lawler. The dude's only 65 years old and plays a violin. But let me tell you something, Lawler. I don't play no violin. I'm six foot four, 270 pounds, 21 and a half inch arms, 55 inch chest, and the most beautiful man in wrestling today. I've wrestled WWF champion Bob Backlund to a one hour draw. I've swamped the ring with Nick Bockwinkle, AWA champion. I'm probably the baddest dude in wrestling today. I've paintbrushed the incredible Hulk Hogan, who likes to whip on little dudes like Rocky Balboa. So I'm custom made, Jerry Lawler, for whipping on guys that like to beat up little men in wrestling. So Jerry the King Lawler, you prepare yourself, boy because Jesse the Body's coming in from San Diego, California, and I'm not traveling all the way to no redneck town like Memphis, Tennessee, in front of all them redneck stump jumpers down there. I'm bringing a little class in with me. So Memphis, Tennessee, and the rest of Southern Wrestling, you get ready, because you're now listening to the new Southern heavyweight champion of the world. I'm predicting that already, Jack. <laughs> well, people, you heard it right there, baby. The greatest professional athlete in the world today. You know, and, and I told the reason you couldn't be here today, and, and I, I, I wanted to, to surprise all the people here. But uh, the people know that tonight you're going against. Uh, I hope they will. After I tell them that they're going, to, he's going against the AWA ham, uh, champion. Uh, Nick Botwinkle tonight, so I'm sure when you reach uh, the city this week that you will be the new AWA champion, and then Monday night or Tuesday or whenever, we're going to get that Southern Heavyweight belt, baby. I can't wait. Woo! <laughs> Jesse, be careful, baby. Goodbye. Goodbye. There you go. There you go. Aren't that great, man? Oh, I, can you I'm believe it? So, you. people, I'm not bringing you the best in the world, man. You've seen it. Believe it, man. Jesse, the body band, too. Woo! Never end. We might lose a couple in the family, but we've gained a couple of more. Woo!
Stepping into the ring right now. This match will be one fall, 15 minute time limit. Introducing in the ring now from Memphis, Tennessee, at 209 pounds, Robert Reed. And going against him from California, 265 pounds with manager Jimmy Hart, Jesse the Body Ventura. One fall, 15 minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Hart Ventura. Getting rid of the hardware over in uh, the corner. Crowd continuing the chant regarding Jimmy Hart. Ventura. Got no business in a ring with that bracelet on. Got a studded bracelet Lights there. Lights out yeah. and everything else. People will pay. Get by with me there. You get the bracelets off, man. Robert Reed having to face Jesse, the body of yeah, Ventura. Ooh. I don't envy Robert. Big 265 pounder from San Diego, California. The body. People don't recognize talent when they see it, man. I hadn't seen anything yet, Jimmy. You know what? That's why you wear glasses and I don't, man. Can't you look up there and see it? Look at the greatest body in professional wrestling today. One fall, 15 minutes of action. Ventura going against Robert Reed. Ooh, that is not. We just start off as successful. And he's always mentioned too that Robert Reed's from the Jerry Lawler School of Wrestling, huh? Why don't you tell the people that, huh? Why don't you? I figured you would. Ventura, internationally known. He's a big one, quite a reputation. Big elbow puts Reed down to the canvas. The body takes a couple of shots from Reed, and he doesn't back up by a step. And he nailed it. That was a legal punch, too. It was indeed. I had to point that out, because that may be the only one we've seen so far. He caught him with a beautiful uh, forearm, and then slammed him into the turnbuckle. Reed picked up, snapped over the shoulder, and here comes the body. Dropped with that leg. Jesse, one, two, and that's all. It was all Ventura. Robert Reed didn't have a chance. He tried it one time. He threw the right hand to the midsection uh, three or four times, but didn't do any good. Ventura gets the win at two minutes, six seconds. And he continues now to put punishment on Robert Reed when there is absolutely no need for it. He's already won the match. And here comes Lawler. Oh, he snaps that strap down, and he and Jesse are going at it. Interference, a thousand dollar fine for Lawler, interference. The match was over, no fun, no interference. There was no match going on when Lawler entered the ring against Ventura. I hate to ring the bell, I'd like to see this continue, but and we discourage this kind of impromptu matchmaking. Here comes Jim Jamison. Robert Crow. Ken Raper, yeah. Ken Raper. Ventura across the ring. Yeah. Destroyer. Matt Hutchinson. Big Panther. Buddy Landell. And the ring is filling up. Poor Robert Reed. 
Reed is over there having a difficult time getting his breath where Ventura really stomped on him. Ventura breaks loose and comes right at Lawler. Well, got him apart again. This time Lawler breaks loose and springs across the ring. Got about 12 or 14 of them in there. Jerry Calhoun trying to get him to get him out of the ring. I promise you ain't seen nothing yet, Lawler. You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. I promise you. Ventura being escorted out of the uh, studio as Lawler still up in the ring and being held back. comes Lawler out of the ring and picks up a chair and that ended uh, the confrontation in a hurry. Look. So Ventura is the winner over Robert Reed and that um, was no surprise. We're going to take time out and we've got more action. An eight-man match coming up in just a moment. Uh, very Run honest young man that he is. Bobby is putting up $50. He said he may not be as big as Ventura, but with 10 to 1 odds, he could use your $500. So he's putting up 50. That means it'll be worth 500 if you get pinned in this one. Let me tell you something, Lance. When I beat this boy for his 50 bucks, you know what that's going to get me? That'll give me my choice of any five women in Memphis, Tennessee, All 10 bucks right, a piece. Jesse. Uh, Jesse Ventura showing how easy it is. He's not even going to take his sunglasses off. Bobby Fulton said, let's just get it on right here. I've got his 50 bucks. Now they intertwine, wrap it up. A lot of beef, and the referee checking to see that nobody's sneaking an advantage on the outset. And there they go, Fulton with a lunge. Ventura, 267 pounds, hanging in there. Boy, he has got huge arms. Fulton making some headway. He's got him off dead center. Ventura takes him back up to the middle and straight down. going in the Southern uh, Heavyweight Championship match. No time, no disqualification. One fall, sanctioned AWA title at stake. The King facing the camera. And the challenger, the big heavyweight out of San Diego, California, Jesse. The body, Ventura. Jimmy Hart at ringside, Hassman the referee from the very opening moment. Yeah. 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 Referee Jerry Calhoun going to have himself a long night's work up there. He's trying to keep everybody with their fist open at all and a no disqualification match with these two guys. You can bet there's going to be plenty of rapping going on in that ring. unloaded with that good right hand of his. Ventura ties it up with him, backs Lawler into the corner. And he misses a right and Lawler connects. the 265 pounder or 69 pounder as I was corrected by Ventura gets him off his feet and the referee said okay Jerry come on now and while uh, referee Jerry Calhoun goes over to get Hart back in his seat 
Lawler took advantage of the situation. Let's put it that way. disqualification scrap going on mid-south coliseum memphis tennessee continues to battle down on the floor. With that chair, oh, Spears Ventura. 
slams him with that big heavy chair as Hart got out of the way in a hurry. Lawler back in the ring. And at the seven minute mark, the King. Jesse coming after him. Waller slips out of the way. There's no referee. Waller into a pile driver. Ventura laid out. Waller covers him, but there's no referee. Here comes Hart. And Waller going after Hart. section and Lawler follows up with a good solid right hand referee Jerry Calhoun still down on the floor boy when, when Calhoun let's see who's coming in what is this chicken suit distracts Lawler Hart runs up to the ring apron the referee is pushed back in by whoever is in that chicken suit and Lawler just lost the Southern heavyweight title back to Jesse Ventura 906 the winner Jesse Ventura regains the Southern heavyweight title in a bizarre finish that saw Jimmy Hart once again change places with somebody else last time. It was Andy Kaufman. This time, I don't know who, but the result is the same. Ventura wins it and regains the Southern heavyweight title.
muscles and maintaining them. Steve Kern facing the Hawk down. I'm telling you, Stan and Steve don't back up from any of them. Ripping right hand.
apron, and while they were changing and the Hawk was coming in, Steve slipped it right out of the ring and got out of trouble. In the middle of it all, Steve still retaining his sense of humor. He's not laughing now. He was given a kind of a, hey, did you miss me, gang, when he slipped out of there, giving that to Hawk, and Hawk right after him drove him into the corner and out side headlock. Oh, look at here. And Ellering dumped him that time. Whoa, Stan went down and Hawk dropped the elbow. Ellering's got a t-shirt on that says, who's gonna beat us? And that's a question you gotta wonder when you see the size of these guys. They're going against a couple of gentlemen who have just that very thing in mind. What a shot in the arm for the national ranking of Kern and Lane to be able to beat the Road Warriors. Woo! Ripped him with a right hand. The referee gets on him. And there goes Lane out on the floor.
and a fabulous one. that uh, Jerry Lawler and Michael Hayes had. Hayes right now is pointing out the spot where Lawler burned him. It was a situation, if you haven't seen it, I guess it would be difficult to explain, but briefly it went something like this. Lawler had defeated Boda for the Southern Heavyweight title. Tom Branch and Boda were after Lawler. Michael Hayes came down. Lawler had things pretty well in hand but he needed a little help. Hayes came down. He grabbed uh, Bota, was holding him, and he said, burn him, Jerry, burn him. While Hayes was holding him, Lawler threw the fire. Bota shook loose, and the fire hit Michael Hayes right in the side of the neck, Bernie's hair in the side of his neck. And Hayes started kicking a stew out of Lawler, went back and got his partner, Terry Gordy, and here we are. With Gordy and Hayes, the fabulous Freebirds, going against the king, Jerry Lawler, and the idol, Austin Idol from Las Vegas. Colorful striped attire that Idol has on tonight. Big crowd on hand, Mid-South Coliseum, Memphis, Tennessee. Lawler. Gordy to the center of the ring. And that's cruel and inhuman punishment on the ring because, brother, this Gordy weighs 285. He is large, large. Lawler and Idol are no small ones, but they're giving away weight tonight. 
Jerry going after Michael Hayes. Center of the ring. Tag on idle. Austin to the second rope. Drops that right hand and went back over to say something to uh, Lawler. Idle jumps out, grabs a walking stick. Hooks Michael Hayes. Gordy knocked down off the. together by Austin Idol. Lawler and Idol, quite an impressive record together as a tag team. They are not a full-time tag team, but they've gotten together on special occasions for each other's benefit and have done a magnificent job. Oh, boy. He looked like he was going to backbreak him over his knee. He wheeled him around and just slammed him down. Hayes and Gordy from Bad Street USA is what they say. Gordy looks like he's going for a suplex. It is a snap suplex. Count of one. Lawler plants that right hand and that kind of broke that up. Gordy tagging out to partner Michael Hayes. Michael with an elbow that got his attention. He crammed a few of those teeth loose on Austin Idol. Michael Hayes on a whip for clothesline. Count of one, two, reverse! Idol one! And that's all. There's a tag on Gordy. Large Terry cuts off Idol. As he was headed to the corner to tag Lawler. Austin blocks the effort of Gordy and slams his head in. Tag on the king. Nice single leg by Idol. Dumps Gordy. And Lawler coming off the ropes. Buries that right hand into Gordy. Distraction while Idol finished up with Gordy, and now Lawler takes over. Poor referee has everybody against him. All four wrestlers and the fans. Ah, Gordy caught him. Lawler bending for a backdrop, and Gordy just held up and kicked him while Michael Hayes takes over. He starts slamming Lawler, pitches him out on the concrete. baiting Idol to come in and it looked like Gordy got him with a uh, a suplex I believe I, we couldn't really see exactly what he did to him but he drove him into that concrete and Lawler hurt down at the side of the ring Little ceremony celebrating the injury to Lawler down there, but don't count the king out. Idol rolls him back in the ring. Idol trying to get the crowd behind him. Michael bulldogged him, slammed that head into the mat. Ooh. Oh, yeah, these free birds are tough. Brother, and they are big, too. to Gordy.
clothesline that turned Lawler. 180 right in the ring. Gordy covers him up one, two, and Austin Idol comes to the rescue. He had him. Idol broke it up. Hayes drops on Lawler. Hey, here comes Michael. The fabulous Freebirds. They're cutting a roll right now. Hayes, very good height. He's about 6'3 or so. He's got the uh, sleeper on Lawler, trying to hold it on him. Jerry down to his knees. Jesse Allen trying to see whether it's all over or not. Working our way up to the 10 minute mark. Lawler comes back to his knee. Hayes not able to hold him completely. Takes a shot to the midsection. Reversal. It's Lawler with a sleeper hold. There's a tag on Terry Gordy. Gordy going for a pile driver while the referee is running Hayes out of there. Pile driver from Gordy on Lawler. Austin Idol trying to tell him. Got a one. Idol comes in, gets Gordy off. There's the 10 minute mark. Gordy dumped by Lawler as he was trying for a second pile driver. Tag on Michael Hayes. Clothesline tags idle. Here comes Austin. Idle after Gordy while Lawler holds Hayes. Turns Gordy upside down in the corner. Stomping away hard on the big guy. The biggest guy. Lawler looks like he's going for the fire. Uh oh, he got the referee. Boy, he got Jesse Allen trying to get Michael Hayes. He got the referee. Hayes comes after Idol from behind, nails him. Uh oh, and Terry Gordy. That's going to be a disqualification, I'm sure, on Lawler. Michael Hayes takes a belt off of. Hey. Come on, Gordy. Gordy grabs Randy Hales working with us at ringside, dumps him on the ring apron, pulls off his shoe. Hayes has got a belt that he took off the referee. Gordy has got the shoe from Randy Hales. from Michael and Austin Idol coming back on <laughs>
producers are on the microphone for because we know better with the fabulous three birds around. Three birds said, there's nothing like going down on Bad Street. And Austin Idol and Jerry Lawler said, we can be the baddest on Bad Street. For a fact, this Bad Street match is not officially underway, but the action has been tremendous so far. <laughs> Whip. 
step on Hayes. They clothesline Hayes. Took his feet right out from under him. Snap a big 285-pound Terry Gordy right over the top rope. Waller drops on Hayes. Here they are, all four of them in the ring.
with both hands around the throat of Big Terry Gordy. Uh-oh, Idle pulled out a pair of scissors. Austin Idle pulled out a huge pair of scissors and was going to cut the hair of Michael Hayes. some help from his partner and as Waller came in Hayes kicked him out now they've got Idle they're going after him and the referee hooks him and Hayes slams him the referee right in the head did the Plumber. 
Dusty Rhodes from Austin, Texas. Dusty will tip it at about 282. Tully has that weight belt off and slam it away on Dusty. On the outside, Magnum had his head split open by Arn Anderson. Waller takes a shot. And Tully with that belt coming around here to get Lawler slams him across the back. He's lashing him with that big belt. Blanchard hands the belt over to Ole Anderson as Magnum dropped on the top rope by Aaron Anderson. Dusty Rhodes back in to help out his partners, grabs that belt. Ole hanging on in the dream, and Ole Anderson struggling over the belt. Anderson comes away with it, hammering down on Dusty Rhodes. Waller taking a shot with a right hand on Tully. Magnum pitched out of the ring by Arnold. and nails Lawler in the back with that big belt. Fires the belt over to Tully. There's a cover. Two of them holding Lawler down. Dusty comes in, knocks off. Tully Blanchard grabs Ole Anderson by the hair. Lawler's right shoulder is up. Dusty has the belt. He's after Tully. Assaulted by Magnum. Here goes Lawler after Aaron, but only cut him off. Aaron with a belt digging into the American Dream space. Lawler hammered back into the corner by Ole Anderson as Tully Blanchard slams a right hand right in the throat of Magnum. She was, I thought she was, uh, she evidently, something popped loose, a belt or something, but she looked like she was getting ready to hand something in the ring to Tully. In the center of the ring, the bunkhouse match continues. Dusty goes to the top rope, comes down. Tag Team Championship of the World, and it is a team that comes out of California. They call themselves the the uh, Fabulous Freebirds, and I'm going to bring in here right now a big, big team of Terry Gordy and Mike Hayes. Terry Gordy and Mike Hayes, as you can see, a couple of very large gentlemen. Uh, this is Mike Hayes uh, with the towel. That's on right, it. baby. Terry you Gordy. know. You've heard of Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, and all the rest. Well, I'm here to introduce you to the best. You know, my name is Terry Gordy. I weigh 290 pounds. A romping, stomping, graveyard destruction. I'm one half of the fabulous Freebirds. And standing right here beside me is the other half. This is Michael Hayes, and I'm going to unveil him today. Oh, okay. Right here I on TV, baby. Uh, yeah. This is the prettiest man in the world right here. Oh, and today... All you people out there, you get a chance to see this pretty face right here on TV. And believe me, I've seen my share of pretty women. I've probably seen your share. I've seen three or four other people's share. But this guy right here, baby, takes the cake. And you know, I know there's a lot of people out there, such as Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee, who like to bend the rules a little bit. But let me tell you something. If you bend the rules and try to mess up this pretty face, Baby, I'll hurt somebody. This guy, 
could take care of himself well. But well, you're going to be in a But I don't want today. nobody messing with oh, this okay. pretty face. All right. Well, well I know you're in contention. If you're ready, and we're later ready. Later on in the show, oh. I'm going to unveil this guy right I here think. on TV. So I want all you people out there, I want you to get your brother, get your sister, get your daddy, get them all around the TV. Because you fix now I witnessed something right here on TV today, baby. Well, you're uh, looking at Michael Hayes, Terry Gordy. They are certainly one of the top teams in the nation and uh, internationally. The uh, fabulous Freebirds, that's who they that's are. Right. We'll be and seeing this them guy right here, later. you know he's got prettier hair than Farrah Fawcett, and he's got more moves than John Travolta, baby. All right. Hey, well. he is 110% all man. You we'll, can bet your boots on that, Lance Russell. I, I don't uh, deny it, Terry. We've heard of your reputation, and we'll have a chance to see you in action, as uh, you will be seeing a little bit later the uh, fabulous Freebirds in action, Terry Gordy and Michael Hayes. And they are going against internationally known the fabulous Freebirds. We had a little glimpse, some of them, or at least one of them, a little bit earlier. Yeah. Terry Gordy and his partner, Michael Hayes. Here comes Gordy, big 285, 290 pounder. And with him is Michael Hayes, hey, still got the tower. you ready for this, baby? Hey, if you're ready oh, for it. Are you people at home ready for this? Can you get a camera over here? Hey, get a camera over here. You want me to come hey, over here and right. a camera? Okay, we're ready get a camera. It. Have you got all your friends? Have you got all your neighbors around the TV? If you don't, don't say I didn't warn you. Now, before I do this, I want all you women to sit down and just have a seat. And if you're over 60, would you please leave the room? We don't want to have no, no injuries around here. Now, hey, can we get a camera over here? Yeah, it's, it's, the camera's okay. we're, we're, we're ready. Can I, can I have this camera right here? Can you get a close-up on this thing when I take it off? Terry Gordy in the direction business right now. Standing. Okay, when I take, when I take the towel off his head, what I want you to do is just follow the towel up. Terry. Come on back over here with me and introduce him, if you will. Are you ready? Okay. We are here ready. Here it goes. Michael the prettiest Hayes. man in the world right here today, baby. Okay. You're getting to see this right here on TV. Okay. Okay. Wait. Have you, seen, you sure you've got a good shot now? They got a good shot, Terry. Okay. Okay. Believe now, they got a good shot. Follow the tail up, all right? Yeah, okay. Okay, Terry, the directions are pretty clear. Okay. I think they can handle it up okay. there. Here okay, here we go. Well, there it is, Michael Hayes, the other half of the fabulous Freebird. You look at it, baby. You look at it, prettier hair and fair faucet. More moves than John Travolta, more romance than Robert Redford. Baby, I could go on for days and weeks, but we ain't got all that time. Now I want you women to sit down, because here I'm fixing to take off this million-dollar roll, baby. And I don't want you to have no heart attacks or nothing. Now, Terry, if you will, assist me, baby, as I let it slide on down, baby. And you see this beautiful body. I want you to know that beauty has entered your television. Beauty has entered your home. Beauty has entered everywhere, baby. Now let me introduce you. We are the fabulous Freebirds. We are the greatest team in wrestling, baby. We stop for nobody, and we stop everybody. Every territory we've ever been to. Now get that camera on this body. I want you to look at this hair. I want you to look at this face. I want you to know, I want you to remember the time and the place, baby. Because we are the hot childs of the city. He do run wild and I do look pretty. And when we come to your town, if we ever do, I want you to know it's going to be a happening, baby. It's going to be something. So if we come to your town, we want you there. Now let me tell you something. It's like the man said. If you can bust this pretty face, if you can mess up these looks legally, but it's punks like them right there. When the going gets tough, they got to revert to cheating, baby. And when you do, this man here, he's there to take up the slack. I want you to know this. Now, don't you forget the name, the fabulous Freebirds, baby, because we're here to stay and we don't play. Let's go, so I want you to just sit down right here, baby, and I want you to watch this match. It's going to be a bad case of your old team, bad to Oh, man. Right. Okay, Terry, if we can uh, get the fabulous Freebirds in the ring, uh, I think our time is up, Dave. We don't have more. more. No, I'm yeah. kidding you about that. We got, right here? No, help yourself. Just right there, anything to get us up into action in there. We were here for the unveiling of Michael Hayes. 
Today's pretty people, you better believe it. Climbing in there, Terry Gordy and Michael Hayes and Dundee and Lawler have been standing up there waiting, kind of amused and at all of the yeah. characteristics going on. How about the introduction, Davey? This match to the expiration of time, team of the most force to their credit when the time expires wins the match. Introducing at a total of 525 pounds on the left of your screen, from California, the fabulous Freebirds, Terry Gordy and Michael Hayes. Going against them in this match at a total of 458 pounds. From Australia, the superstar, Bill Dundee. And from Memphis, Tennessee, the king, Jerry Lawler. This match, to the expiration of time, referee Jerry Calhoun. Well, bell time. We've heard them talk. Let's see if they can wrestle out, Abe. Okay? Indeed. Boy, they, uh, they talked for several minutes here, no doubt about it. Michael Hayes starting for the Freebirds. Bill Dundee starting for his team. Hayes, proud of himself, yeah. Hayes with the side mare, puts Dundee on the mat again. Terry Gordy, Michael Hayes' partner over in the corner. With encouraging words and praise for a job well done. Hayes, oh, he threw back that right hand, and the King was there. The King grabs Michael Hayes after the tag by Bill Dundee. Hayes puts Lawler into the turnbuckle hard. Hayes over to the corner. The tag on Terry Gordy. Gordy, a big guy. Lawler firing a right hand. And Lawler nail it. He's put Gordy on the mat. Gordy spinning around. Went to the wrong corner briefly. Yeah, well, Michael Hayes complaining about uh, Lawler's use of the fist. Tag made. Here comes Michael Hayes. Hayes puts the bar on Jerry Lawler's left arm. Crowd chanting for the King to go. King is back on his feet. Michael Hayes backed into the turnbuckles by the King. Whoop, reversal. Nice move by Michael Hayes. Put Lawler into the corner hard. Hayes gets the tag, and here comes Terry Gordy. Lawler off the rope. Oh, Terry Gordy caught it with his foot right in the midsection. Gordy, a break called on him. Possible choke. Referee Jerry Calhoun made him give up the hold. He makes the tag. Here is Michael Hayes back in. Hayes in with a right hand. Lawler's right shoulder is not on the mat. The referee does not start the count. Lawler on his feet. Michael Hayes still holding onto the headlock, but Lawler puts him into the rope. Ooh, long shoulder butt coming off the rope. Good move, Jerry Lawler. Lawler back to the corner. The tag on the superstar, Michael Hayes, takes the opportunity to get out of the ring. Terry Gordy jumps in. Whoa, Dundee. Boy, he let him have it with a double forearm. Hayes is the official man in the ring. Dundee covers him one. Down to one is all he can get. Hayes able to break it up at that point. There's the tag. Here's Terry Gordy. Ooh, Hayes flipped Dundee straight up in the air. Gordy drops him down across the knee. Cover one, two. Down to three, that was it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerry Lawler got there, but just a fraction of a second too late to prevent the count of three. Gordy and Hayes 
Got themselves the first fall of this expiration of time match. Did you see that backdrop maneuver? He fired him right over, and Hayes caught him in midair, slammed him. Right, baby, Bruce Strange. That's my brother. Not related by blood, related by money. Something more important. Terry Gordy, the master disaster. Master disaster, Terry Gordy and his partner, Michael Hayes. Uh, they are for real. They are. Boy, indeed. they not only can talk, but uh, they can put it out in that ring, too. Okay, that's just the first fall, though. This is an expiration of time match. We've got plenty of time for it. We're going to take time out right now. We're going to be back with more action. But the team of Lawler and Dundee, one fall down yes, as this expiration of time match continues. Bill and Jerry talking very earnestly over there. And coming back in, jubilant smiles upon their face, Michael Hayes and Big Terry Gordy. Hopping back up to the ring, bell time, and here we go, the superstar, Bill Dundee, going against the larger of the two, Terry Gordy. Gordy right away moves in behind Dundee, catches him with a broad arm from behind and stomping on him right at the rope. Referee trying to back him up. Tag, Hayes takes over. The fabulous Freebirds, they call themselves. Dundee up, body slam, and Michael Hayes back with an elbow, catches Dundee on the way down, hard, tag, Terry Gordy. Gordy back in, flat of the foot, but he's not using the toes, so the referee has no call to stop him. Whip, into it, big backdrop, whoa. Gordy drops again. They're one fall up already. They're trying to make it two quick ones. From behind, reverse face lock. Hayes hanging him. Jerry Lawler much too far away to make a tag. He's reaching as far as he can, but Billy has got to get a lot closer in there. With that uh, reverse chin lock that Hayes has on him, Dundee fires him across the ring, but he can't make it to the corner. Hayes quickly right on top of him. Bill Dundee moves in, and he got, got confused for a minute. He started to reach, but to the wrong corner, tag from Hayes to Gordy. Quick exchange as Hayes comes out. Gordy goes in. The elbow. Dundee fired into the ropes with that whip as he came off. Gordy nailed him. Looked like a fist to me, and the referee thought so. He warned him about it. High slam. Pulls down his knee pad and drops with the bare knee and picks Dundee up. Goes into that reverse face lock again. Still, Dundee well away from his partner, Jerry Lawler. Tag on Michael Hayes. Hayes coming in. Not only are these guys uh, got good weight on them, Dave, they're tall enough where they can really reach across that ring and uh, take advantage of that tag from halfway out in the ring almost. And sound tag team strategy, too. You got to you gotta give them that. They've been able to keep Dundee away from the corner, away from the king who's waiting to get in there. They're making good, quick exchanges, too, so that they keep the, the uh, freshest of the men in there. Dundee fired over the shoulder. Gordy once again. He asked to break it up. I think it must have been hair tag on Hayes. But Gordy, meanwhile, holding Dundee so he can't get over to Lawler. Right straight over the shoulder, and Michael Hayes in control. They've had Bill down this entire fall. This is the second fall, in case you just joined us. And the action has been all Hayes and Gordy with Dundee. Lawler has yet to make it into the ring. Bill firing that elbow with a shoulder. Stays in and uh, takes an elbow. And Hayes put him down. Mistake. He should have gone for the tag when yep. he broke free. 
Knowing Bill's determination, I'm sure that he uh, irritated enough at the beating they've been giving him. He wanted to dish out a little bit of it, but you're right, Davey. That would have been the time to go for the tag on the king. Bill being held down by large Terry Gordy. And Dundee ongoing a very undergoing a very unpleasant fall as Gordy and Hayes living up to their notice coming in here as one of the top international tag Hang on Hayes. Dundee trying to break his way through that time, but Gordy got him from the front. Here comes Lawler. Lawler tags him. Knocks him right off the ring apron, and he's telling the referee it was two on one. Dundee, meanwhile, being held on the roof. And from the outside, Gordy pasted him one. Billy popped over in a body slam again. And as Dundee rolls out of the way, Hayes misses the dropped elbow. But Bill can't make it to the corner once again. Five minutes gone in the second fall. Five minutes into that second fall of action. First ball went to Gordy and Hayes. Dundee drives him in the corner. Tries to turn to go back to the corner where Lawler is. And Hayes successful in heading him off at the pass. Bam! Nailed Gordy from behind. By Gordy from behind. Oh, yeah! Billy nailed him hard with that foot. Coming to the corner and tags the team. Here's the exchange. Lawler heads together. Lawler suplex. He's big Terry Gordy over. Count of one. Gordy kicks out. There, right over the shoulder, down, and he stomps with a flat of the foot, nails Hayes with the elbow, and turns his attention back to the legal man in the ring, Terry Gordy. Gordy and Hayes now feeling a little of the wrath of the king with his partner, the superstar, getting recuperated. And ball are hanging with an arm bar in there on Terry Gordy. Well away from the corner where Michael Hayes is trying to get him over for a tag. Lawler may have been guilty of using a hair. There's a tag on Dundee and Billy. Coming back at him. Hayes starts to come in. Dundee off that note. <laughs> Billy once again. And big Terry Gordy down on his back as Dundee now picks him up for a body slam. Again, Dundee coming back one. Bill thrown off after the count of one, and Gordy does get to the corner and makes a tag on Michael Hayes. Tag. Oh, Lawler, a beauty coming yeah, off great. the road. Dandy Davis. No doubt about it, using fist, and the referee tells him, break it up, break it up. Tag Dundee once again in. Sunset flip. One, two, three, he got it. All right. One off. Oh, yeah. Boy, the tide turned there when Lawler got in finally after they had kept Dundee in for about three or four minutes of that first fall. But when they got in and they were able to get their offense going, boy, the king and the superstar really cranked it out there and uh, good timing. They got it seven minutes, 53 seconds as they had good exchanges going for them in there. Gordy examining the lovely face of Michael Hayes that took some shots from Lawler and Dundee. And from one fall up, they are now no better than even just the way they started the entire thing, Dave. Gordy and Hayes started off in great shape. Gordy spun behind Dundee, nailed him with a broad arm, put him to his knees, 
And they continued to hammer on Bill Dundee a long time, as a matter of fact. They kept, uh, as you so uh, accurately pointed out, one of the things that they did was keep Dundee away from the corner where Lawler was so that there was no way in the world he was going to get over there and tag out on it. And uh, they kept him in there. They kept pounding on him for almost, what, six minutes or so, right, something right, like that. It was at least four, four and a half, I recall, and a long time. And finally, uh, Bill uh, shook loose, was able to get over and tag uh, Jerry Lawler, and Jerry came in very fresh. He was frustrated. I was watching him right. over in the corner, yeah. trying to get out, lean, hollering to Bill. Halfway down the apron. Yeah, he tag. was trying to get a tag out of it. Right. One of the teams uh, moving back in here. The fabulous free birds, as they are known. Michael Hayes, Terry Boulder, big guys. First look at them here today. And we have been impressed. Hey, Dundee and Lawler on their way in. Dundee jumps into the ring. He's going after Michael Hayes. And the referee says, let's sound the bell and get it underway, which is fine with us. One fall apiece. First fall went to Michael Hayes and Terry Boulder. Uh, Terry Gordy, I'm sorry. <laughs> the second fall, then. The Lawler and Dundee. Dundee put Hayes on the mat. We got about three minutes in our time limit. Three minutes before time expires. The tag made into King with a right hand to the rib cage. Michael Hayes being worked on by Jerry Lawler. His partner, Terry Gordy, over in the corner. Bill Dundee went in with a forearm. Hayes off the ropes. Dundee around behind it. But Terry Gordy in the top there and smacks Bill in the back. King calling to Bill. Come on for the tag. Bill was on his way, but stopped before he could get there for the tag on Lawler. Hayes on the middle rope. We have about two minutes left in the time. Ooh. All the way down from that top rope, he came by. Lawler in there to break it up at the two count. That was very close to a pin for Michael Hayes. Gordy off the rope. Boy, Hayes and Gordy were talking about people bending the rules. Gordy holding Dundee from behind. Lawler in here. Minute and a half, Dave, uh, remaining at our expiration of time. Still time for a fall. Hayes picks Dundee up by the hair, tags Terry Gordy. Gordy off the rope, across the back with a forearm. One minute to go in our expiration of time, Davy. Dundee rolls toward the corner. He gets the tag. What a maneuver by Dundee to get the tag on Lawler. Lawler against Terry Gordy. Gordy hooked into Michael Hayes as Lawler backs him into the rope. Knocked Hayes down to the floor. Gordy, right, time to get out of the ring. Time running short, about 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, and we'll have to ring the bell. Referee Jerry Calhoun tolling the count. It's at five. Terry Gordy rolls back under the ropes into the ring. Jerry Lawler waiting there. 15 seconds. That's all the time we have. All of the body slam, and that is it. Going to do it. Time is expired. Time's up. Time is expired. It's going to be one fall apiece. Well, they're still battling away, though. Dundee going up. against Terry Gordy. Lawler. We are going to have to take a break right now. we got one more break we've got to take, and so let's do it. We'll try to get this stopped. Time is up. Let's take a break, and we'll be back in just a moment. Still going in there, Dave, as uh, Gordy and Hayes, Lawler and Dundee 
have been trading licks. We've rang the bell 40 times, and the referee, Jerry Calhoun, has been trying to get these guys stopped. The time is a long way out of it. And Waller down on the floor. Look out. We're running out of time. Gordy being wailed by Lawler with that chair. Even uh, the, the referee, Jerry Calhoun, got in the middle of it and inadvertently somebody slammed him, Dundee and Hayes, out of the ring. Dundee with a chair. Terry Gordy on the head. Nails Hayes, and that's uh, it that may get this whole thing stopped in there. Whoa, as Dundee was banging on Hayes. Gordy hit him. That's it, we gotta go. I'm sorry, Championship Wrestling. We'll be back with TV5 Wrestling this week. And well, you hope by that time we'll have this one stop for Dave Brown. Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the Jarrett Welch Wrestling Company. Uh, between Jerry Lawler and Dory Funk Jr. was uh, some kind of rough and tough action. It went um, 32 minutes and so many seconds on the thing. We have some highlights of it. I'd like for you to see it. The King and Dory Funk. Main of an action from the Mid South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee, where Jerry the King Lawler, current holder of the AWA Southern Heavyweight title, former holder of the CWA World Heavyweight title, is facing the holder of as many titles as you can probably count on several toes and hands and so forth. Dory Funk Jr., his opponent tonight, starts right off Mayor's Lawler over a side headlock on the mat. Whoa! There's that tremendous forearm uppercut. And he is lashing Lawler. Takes him up and over, down. Lawler again on his feet. He's got to figure some way to come out of oh, those long arms of Dory Funk. Oh, there it is. And Lawler caught in the midsection, tapped again, and a front face lock as Dory Jr. hadn't said a word. Shoulder from Funk. Hip toss, and Lawler picks him straight up. Body slam. Lawler after him with that right. Snaps Dory's head back. Referee saying, open the hand up and quit using a fist, and you notice how much good that did. Working our way around to the 20 minute mark here in another few seconds. As Lawler pounding Funk covering up now with both arms. And as the referee grabs the arm of Lawler to stop him from using it, Funk comes out with a knee. Funk again goes to that favorite weapon of his. And Lawler. becoming impervious to pain. We're coming up on the 25 minute mark. Dory Jr. drops a knee again at him. Up by the hair, there's the forearm again. And Dory Jr. a third time. Lawler hit it hard, straight over backward. Jerry getting pumped up. Lawler caught him this time. Nails him with a right. Dory's down. 
Again. Straight over the shoulder. Lawler pumping him hard with that right hand. Lawler hanging on to him. But Funk also hanging on into the ropes. Lawler down on the floor hard out on the concrete. Dory pulls him into the ring by the hair. Goes for the abdominal stretch. Thirty one minutes. Crowd hollering. We can see it, and I'm sure you can too. Dory has hold of the trunks. You can see it on this side. The referee can't see it. He is really stretching Lawler. And he catches his hand in there and breaks up the hole. Lawler close to submission. Dory Jr. jumps down, grabs a stick from Jimmy Hart, brings it in the ring, just breaks it over his knee. And that may be a disqualification on Funk. It should be. Jerry Calhoun trying to fight him off. That's going to be it. 32 minutes, 28 seconds. But Funk has that stick right in Lawler's eye. Lawler grabs the wrist. Dory Funk and Lawler now coming up to his feet. The bout's over officially. Here comes Hart in the ring. Lawler low bridges him. They're battling for that stick. It's half of the thing and Lawler goes after Dory Jr. and the referee grabs him. The referee nails. Is nailed by Lawler. Lawler down on the floor. They're battling right down below us on the floor. See at the Memphis Mid-South Coliseum uh, with the international heavyweight title on the line, Jerry Lawler going against Ken Patera, the international title at stake, and here are the results of that match in Memphis. This match, ladies and gentlemen, Underway, the International Heavyweight Championship title at stake against Ken Patera's Pan American Medals. What a match, and we're looking forward to the action. Waller started out so quick, I think it surprised Patera, and after that, he just came absolutely steaming. Patera out of the ring with Lawler into the ring post. Lawler laying on the floor. And once again, Patera and Lawler, both of them swung, and now Patera falls down. Patera's down, but apparently, I don't have a good view here, but Patera must be out of the ring on the rope. That's exactly the way it is. Patera down again. Now Lawler continues to again and again send Patera head first into that turnbuckle. Here the crowd counting with it about 10 times and Patera hits the camera. the 
canvas. Now Patera sending Lawler into the turnbuckles. Again and again and again. But Lawler blocks it that time. Patera trying to do it again, but Lala puts down that strap. Look at the king go. Jerry Lala. All over Kim Patera. I hadn't seen Lala unleash this type of fun. It's been a long time. Look at Lala go. Man, oh man. Lala giving it everything he had. came in to make the count. Lawler on top of him, and now Patero's going to drop the elbow on Lawler. Lawler moves. Patero hit Calhoun. Lawler sets for the power driver on Patero. He got it. He did, in fact, the famous king power driver that's put so many out. Here comes Jimmy Hart. The king will love this. Any chance he has. Look at him sending Hart into the turnbuckle. Lawler has forgot about Patera. That could be a mistake. Caught him with a chair. Once again, call Lawler with a chair and Patera on top of him. One, two, and a count of three. Baby, we're gonna ride out in that Corvette, right, baby? We are ready now for the big ones, baby. This is it, Jesse the Body Ventura. Tell him, Jess, what's gonna happen, baby? Let me lay something out for you, Terry Taylor. You're coming after my championship, Southern Heavyweight Championship of the World, but I don't even particularly like the South. Terry Taylor, you got a pretty face. Do you know what dudes like me from San Diego do to guys like you with pretty faces? You're gonna find out, my man, and find out real good. You got a pretty face yourself. Maybe I'll teach you, too. Jesse Ventura going against Terry Taylor and in the International Championship. Oh, hey, boy, what'd you do? Go home crying to your mama? You lost your fabulous little belt. You went home sniveling like some snot-nosed punk in the third grade. Well, let me tell you something, Louisville, Kentucky, brother. There's a contract that you got to have a return match. Well, I'm going to give it to you because I whooped your butt all over that place last time, and I'm going to do it again. You never run into anybody like me, Austin Idol. This is the lariat. Look at it. Live it. Know it. Respect it. International heavyweight title will be on the line when Stan Hansen goes against the heartthrob Austin Idol. Big night, Tuesday you night. You know, the family, bigger and stronger than ever. Didn't I tell you I was bringing everybody all over the world, man? Stan the man, Hanson, the greatest cowboy of all time. Jesse the Body Ventura, the assassins, Condry Landell. We're going to have all the belts. We've got them now. We're going to keep them forever and ever, baby. I can't wait. Woo! Tuesday night, make your plans to be there. <laughs> Big main event action where we've got Austin, the Universal Heartthrob Idol, and Jerry the King Lawler teaming together. Go against one of the most impressive tag teams of two single champions that we've seen. Jesse the Body Ventura at 265 out of San Diego, California. And coming in at about 310 pounds from Borger, Texas, Stan Hansen. Ventura choking Lawler, Stan Hansen kicking Idle down on the floor and comes around where Lawler is. Lawler slammed into the 
turnbuckle. Hanson in there working on Lawler. Ventura just ran around and fed idle a knuckle sandwich to keep him down on the floor. This is Lawler's first encounter with Stan Hansen, to the best of my knowledge. Now, Austin Idol has seen the big Texan on several occasions. Ooh, the body. Comes in there, pops one into the midsection, and Hansen kicks Lawler right in the head. Now it's Ventura cutting loose with a right hand on both Lawler and Austin Idol. Referee Jerry Calhoun trying to get Ventura back to business on the man in the ring. Meanwhile, Hanson slips down the ropes and pops Lawler one. Southern heavyweight champion Austin Idol jumps into the ring, tries to get to Lawler some help, but the referee intercepts him, sends him back out. Hanson, who was in there, comes back out voluntarily. And Jimmy Hart, loving every bit of it, down on the ringside to the left. Ventura stepping down on Lawler's throat. The referee tries backing him off of him. He calls for a knee, and boy, did he get a knee. Stan Hansen has got huge legs on him. And Hansen fires Lawler in, slams him with an elbow. We thought maybe he was going to slip that lariat, as he calls it, on him. That big left arm of his, a two count, almost a two and a half count. Lawler was just about out of it. Look at that, Hansen go to work. He blasts Lawler, knocked him over the top rope. Be difficult for the referee to call that a disqualification because Hansen just simply hit him with a ponderous uppercut. Lawler's head slammed down on a chair. Hansen picks it up and blasts Lawler with it in the ring. The heart drop. He's run out by the referee. And now Jesse Ventura and Stan Hansen reign supreme. Inside the ring, Lawler on the floor in, and hurt. Idol comes over to help him out. The referee told him the count, but Hansen breaks that when he starts through the ropes. And Calhoun stops him. back to his feet. Somebody hands Lawler a walking stick, a cane. Stan Hansen right on top of him as he brings it in the ring. And Lawler slams him on the head and then breaks it over Ventura's head. And look at the King come firing back. There's a tag on the idol. Austin. Chop. Now he's after Ventura. We're going to have to take time out back in the ring with more action in just a moment. In a small package, Idol has Ventura. He gets over there and starts the count, gets to two, but uh, he had held him for a count of 20. And Ventura kicked out when he was ready. It's a case where you always feel like that uh, if the referee had been there, there would have been a one, two, three count on Ventura, but you never know. Some of these guys are capable of some amazing things. Ventura, bear hug on the idol, and he's powerful. Stan 
Johnson. Goes over and rings the bell. Telling the referee he gave it up. He heard him. I guess that's what he was saying to him. And the referee says, I didn't. Get back to your corner before I count you. I'd count a one, two, and Idle gets the right shoulder up. He has not been put into submission as yet, despite what Stan Hansen has to say. Baller trying to encourage him on as a lot of the wrestling fans are doing the same thing. an interesting pairing both of them very large muscle development whoa and look at here idol reverses it on him but stan hansen takes care of that as ventura made the tag and the big texan picks idol right up in the air and he's pouring it to him austin started to slam him but he just tightened up on it and says he's big and bad and brother he is big and bad both clubs down with that telephone pole arm of his idol battles back with a right hand in the midsection the tag on the king all are going in with both fists and referee jerry calhoun i think trying to tell him to get outside there was no tag. He didn't see it. That's what it is. So Hanson goes right to work on Austin Idol. There's a tag on Jesse Ventura. Jesse, big foot right to the mouth, and Idol comes up swinging. Big swinging roundhouse right nails Ventura. Ooh, he low bridged him that time. Tags Lawler, and the referee sees that one, no question about it. Lawler banging away on both Ventura and Hanson and Jimmy Hart. We're standing here with Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol watching this match uh, with Austin and Jerry Lawler going against Stan Hansen and uh, Jesse Ventura. I wanted to get Austin's comments because of some of the action that Stan Hansen used in this match. Austin? I'm not going to sit out here and give you any kind of mush mouth, Lance, because I'm going to tell you like it is. I came for a wrestling match. I didn't come to get the daylights choked out of me by a rope by a big, filthy, smelly, stinking, 300-pound Texan that I call Stan Scum. Not Stan Hansen, but Stan Scum. And I want you to know one thing, Lance, and it's probably the reason why I've been kicked out of practically every wrestling area in the United States and some in foreign countries because I don't mind getting down groveling with the pigs. As a matter of fact, I like to stoop. I like to crawl right underneath a rock lance and pick up anything I can and do the same thing to my opponent. But one thing I like to do is do it before he does to me. Now, Hanson got one up on me. But I'll guarantee you one thing. I promise just as sure as my name is Austin Idol that Sunday in Jackson, Jack, Sunday in Jackson, I'm going to take a rope. I'm going to take a boot. I'm going to take a chair. I'm going to take a crowbar out of a trunk. I'm going to take whatever I have to take and beat his brains out and get that international heavyweight title back around my waist where I belong. And come Sunday, Sunday night when that match is over, they're going to call me dirty, filthy, stinking Austin Idol because I'm going to give Hanson a bit of his own medicine. International title is going to get back to me. Mm, boy, I'll tell you one thing. you got to see that one. Okay, uh, let's go right back now and watch the rest of the action in there with Hanson and Ventura going against Austin and Jerry. Flipped a walking stick to Austin Idol, and he's working on Jimmy Hart, the referee down as a result of Ventura's punishment. 
They're down on the floor and battling away as Idle and Hansen are going at it. Where in the world at Lawler? There's Lawler and Ventura. As they battle their way back through the crowd all over Cook Convention Center. And Jerry Lawler, Austin Idol, Jesse Ventura, Idol slammed into the rail going up into the bleachers. As Hansen battling away with a heart drop, Lawler taking it from Ventura. over the railing and Hanson pounds him with that big metal can. Lawler really down on the floor taking a brunt as Idle had been slammed down by look out Austin Idle attacked with that big trash can. You'll see it tomorrow right there in Jackson and Austin Idle will be there against Hanson. You know Fashion Magazine in New York City says Austin Idle is cute, he's rich, he's sexy, he's mean and last but not least, but ladies, he is available. That means I am a bachelor. But let's key in on the word available. Because Sunday, darling, in Jackson, baby, I'm going to be available. And you know, when Stan Hansen understood the other day, he says, I'm homesick for Texas. Oh, how I yearn for Texas. I'd love to be back in Border, Texas. I'm going to do something for you, Hansen, to bring Texas a little bit closer to you. Maybe you recognize this. This is a Tony Lama boot made in El Paso, Texas, darling. And the first chance I get, I'm going to take this boot or any boot that looks like it. As a matter of fact, if every wrestling fan in that building wants to throw boots in the ring, I'm going to get hold of one of them, darling, and I'm going to put it, huh, you know where. Tomorrow, 